Michelle Han and you're watching the Chill Mom Boss Show um, where mom boss goal is possible with a little bit of strategies and determination. Today I have Joanne Lin Tio with me, my dear friend and also the founder of Iteo, homegrown baby wear brand where she co-founded with her husband. Thank you for being here, Joanne. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit more about yourself and your business? Um, I'm a mother of four. Uh, my kids are nine, eight, five and four. I have three girls and one boy. Um, about the business is uh, we founded Iteo in 2017. Mm -hmm. So um, why we wanted to go into that is partly also because, you know, I, I have so many children. So wearing the baby, uh, having the baby in quality apparel is very important to me, uh, especially due to the weather these days. Um, that is the reason why we wanted to be different and also to come up with a brand of our own. Yeah, so uh, a little bit of history here. I first got to know Iteo when, is that your first collection? Yes. Yeah, right. that was like very <laughs> first collection, Iteo reached out to me and they offered to dress Will and Will looks so cute and immediately I can see that the quality is different, it's thicker and I was telling Joanne that like till today and it still maintains its shape yes. which you know a lot of um, baby apparel would have been like stretched and everything so that's really good quality and I really love it and um, yeah so I, before we really start start I'd like to get to know you a bit more like so how are you like like a, as a little girl? Um, I'm the youngest in the family, so I grew up with a lot of sister and brother. I have three brothers, two sisters, so I'm the princess in the family as I'm oh. the youngest. And um, because my age gap with my fifth brother is actually quite big, so they tend to give in a lot to me. So I'm very fortunate in that sense. But then again, that also made me a little tyrant at home because uh, whatever I say is the final, even to my parents. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm very close to my dad, but um, he moved on, uh, he passed on about 10 years ago. Mm. So now um, my sister is living with my mom, so um, we still keep, in, I mean, all of us are still very close knitted. That's so right. that's very important. So family to me are very important to me, mm. just like um, a part of me, it's mm. like a skin to me, a second mm. skin to me. So that is also the reason why I have so many children. Because I wanted to, um, um, you like a big family, yeah. the camaraderie, yes. and like how, um, yeah, the, the family togetherness. Yeah, togetherness. You know, if one kid doesn't well. come home, the other one will come home. <laughs> right. Yeah, that would be something that I will be worried about <laughs> next time. <laughs> like, okay, one kid is away, or you know, yeah, obviously, or don't overseas. worry, I still have three more. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I went out to have four kids and. Mm. Um, I would also say that when I was younger, I, I wanted to be like a, a big sister to most of my friends mm. because I've always been so sheltered at home by mm. my siblings and um, I thought that I could be more daring when I'm outside, you know, like like could be a big sister to my peers and also because I'm, I'm much taller and, and bigger than most of my friends. So um, I've always tried to I don't know, is it domineering or is it um, trying to mentor some of my friends? <laughs> I find that that's a trait in me when I was younger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you find that you're still the same girl? Do you still tend to like, you know, dispense advice? And... Um, I do, but I also realise that I've changed a little. I tend to listen more now mm. um, rather than just me speaking. I, I tend to listen to my kids as well as um, um, like people like you. Like mm. you... Um, sharing some tips with me or like reading a book itself. I find that it's very enriching and also um, as a mom, we know how what we have gone through mm. and, and it's, it's very comforting to know mm. that someone else feel the same way as you. Mm. you know? yeah. okay. so. Well, this question actually comes a lot later in the interview usually but um, because Joanne has kindly written my book, The yeah. Chill Mom, as the book that she would <laughs> recommend. So I'm like, why? Because my book is actually about pregnancy and early motherhood. So why do you think it can be helpful for someone who wants to start a business? Um, I think if you, when you want to start a business, you need to make sure that the family is well taken care of and your mm. emotional well-being is very important. So that's the point where you also mentioned and also the part whereby um, self-love is also very important. Mm. So you need to be relaxed. You need to be able to 
uh, love yourself before you give more love to the others. Mm. Yeah, so I think this is essential. In fact, I gave uh, your book when it first launched to uh, one of my family friend, uh, yeah. Cheryl Wee, as yes, well. Yeah, yes, yes, so I, I got I you met her recently. I yeah. met her recently, and yeah. I said, Oh, you know, I, yeah. I'm the writer of yes. the book by Joyce, and she was like, Oh, yeah, yeah. so, so I, kind I, of yeah. you. So it's so good nice. to share such reading because there are times whereby we get so caught up by all the parenting, by all the chores and things that the expectation that we have for ourselves. Uh, that's why it's always a good reminder mm. you know, to take some time off to just read a book. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's essential yeah. that I, I, I mentioned and, and a lot of us, like, okay, myself including, that I find that I really don't have time to read book, like to sit down. It takes a lot of discipline in a way that, you know, just, just shut everything out. This is the time for myself. And that creative time lets you become more creative sometimes. Yeah. So, the, sorry to mention that the time when I read your book is when I'm in the bathroom. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's okay. That's fine. You can read it anywhere you yeah, want. So I bring it, I uh, just put it somewhere or put it in the car okay. when I'm waiting for the kids. You know, it's convenient. So me time is also very important. Mm. So try to sneak up some me time uh, to read some book, to just do a, you know, hair wash or just, you know, just, just feel yeah, good. It's very yeah, important. Yeah. Just catching up even like over a coffee is very yeah, important. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Spend so, time on yourself before you give, 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 yes, give, give. And then we feel depleted, Yes, right? exactly. So we need to recharge. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm, that's, that's awesome. And um, I know you told me before, but can you share with our audience like why this business, you know, it decides, you know, quality and, and, and understand that it's also a family business. Yes. Um, um, okay. Just a hit start. Um, the parent company, which is still Garment, um, mm. my husband has been uh, taking over the family business for the past uh, maybe 15 years. Mm. So to him, he has been doing the manufacturing ground. So mm. um, that's another part of the business where you do production. Mm. So two years ago when we, I mean, I mean, he is a father of four. Yeah. He needs to dress the kids for <laughs> sure. So the night feeding and night changing is not spared. So he was going through one, uh, one night he was trying to dress my baby in, in a normal romper whereby it's from top to bottom, mm. buttons, snap buttons. He was just thinking, the next day he, he was just saying that, you know, there could be a better, there should be a better way of dressing a baby because from top to the bottom is like 10 buttons. How do you change them without them fussing? Mm. So that's trigger, that, that trigger a thought and we thought that, you know, maybe we should come up with something different. So um, the... My husband got my husband Wilson got the team to sit down um, to think about you know um, how we should we should try to put this into a business. Mm. So that's where the team start brainstorming and think that you know we should do something different yeah. from whatever brand that you yeah. know is in the market. So that kind of trigger us into having this brand. Our fifth mm. baby called Iteo, yeah, yeah, which we try to come up with innovative, innovative products, yeah, uh, whereby there's no snaps and no yes. zip, yeah. So it's just pulling using elastic, yeah, and yeah. It, it, it pulls really well. Yeah. And the first time I pull, I was worried that oh my god, will it go out fact, of shape? Yeah. But it, it doesn't, and yeah. it still maintains really well. We have yeah. done a lot of pull tests, and yeah. in fact, we have focus group mommy to come and mm. test out on the products before we launch, mm. and also because um, this is something new as well to mm. us. That's where we decided to um, just try it and mm. bring it out to the market. Great. Right. So, so that's the best way to come up with services or products as a business when you have the problem encounter, yourself, a, yes. a problem that you want to solve. Yes. And because if you are faced with that problem, there's probably a lot more people well. who are having <laughs> the problem, right? Just how do you creatively solve it? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So for us, um, um, like I mentioned, um, we need to think of the problems mm. uh, that we face while changing the baby and yeah. what, are the conce- what are the concerns that we get when we change the baby. How mm. fast can we change the baby and the comfort on the, the on apparel, the baby on the well. baby as well. And yeah. they, when, they are, when they are at this age whereby they're growing and, and crawling, how do you change them? So we did, uh, we test out with my son. So my son um, was about six months that we mm. start using him and try and try and pull. <laughs> and in fact, eventually after a year, that's when Iteo product was born. The romper mm. came out called Ezio. And um, it was quite, uh, I would say it's just like delivering another baby. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was quite intensive. And also 
um, I think the team also plays a part because I wasn't there uh, full time to do it because I had my four children to look after. So yeah, half the time, yeah. So half the time we were just like um, going in and giving ideas and sharing, mm. and they had to brainstorm and we yeah. work to to come out with this product. Yeah. Mm. So a lot of um, I would say um, failures to mm. get to where we are now mm. because we have tried on certain um, products. I mean, certain uh, elastic and doesn't work. Then we have to go and source for things that that could could bear those um, countless yeah. Uh, pulling yeah mm. so from the ideation right mm. from mm, we need to come up yeah. with something that um, that would help moms or parents dress the baby easier mm. in an easier way to selling your first piece right making your first dollar how long did it take I think about uh, I would say about a good two years a good two years yes one year yeah. was um, the technical part and the brainstorming and the second year was lining up the, the production line the supply chain to make sure that everything is in the flow yeah. and also um, we need to do some survey before we launch the brand itself yeah. because um, it's actually quite um, something new to us yeah. to have a brand yeah so we're still learning though yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and it's always a uh... A fun project, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, as much as this is fun, I also like to acknowledge the there's lots of hard work. Yeah, there is. And uh, I would say frustration definitely. Yeah. You cannot go without arguments. Okay. You need to argue with someone to know, um, to challenge each other. Yeah. What are the possibility of getting this thing um, um pulled and is it and between torn. you and your husband, or is uh, it more with the staff, with with the team, with the team and okay. with the husband? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I find that it's um it's fascinating and it's definitely challenging to work with your spouse like you know I, I don't work with my husband and sometimes even when he gives suggestion I tend to take it like kind of personally, personally and I feel a bit sensitive <laughs> what you think I'm not doing enough you yes. know so how do you navigate that you know between yourself and your husband um I think for us we draw a line very clear mm. like we will we will we will talk to each other about work when we are in the office mm. but or in the car, mm. that's where we will do a catch up over work. Yeah. But when we are back home, that's the time when we don't talk about work. He uh -huh. can say when I talk about work. Though. Oh, okay. Yeah, I tend to draw the line. I I, I tend to cross the line. Yeah. He, he will draw the line. Oh, so to okay, me, is uh, he's more disciplined than me for sure. Oh, okay. In terms of that, um, women tend to get more emotional. Yeah. So when they have such comments, we get a little bit too personal. Yeah. But I think it's also good for the relationship as well because life is not a bit of roses. Mm -hmm. So to me, I feel that uh, with such um, a little argument, we mm. actually help to understand each other better mm. in terms of work and personality. Mm. Yeah. So um, we don't carry baggages to, to bed. That's yeah. Good. We try to resolve it before we go to bed. Yeah. yeah. That's good. So yeah. that's very important. That's very important. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> you just need to talk it out, right? Yes. Don't go to bed with yeah. grudges. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Um, so I think like because your husband is in the business, so he saw like a built-in support system already yes. right around yes. you that you know keep you going in this business. And um, what about your children? How did they take it that mommy is not busier now? Mm, in fact, I think my 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 two elders are very um, participative. Mm -hmm. Like uh, when we first started uh, over at birth, mm. which uh, our first retail store, they came by with me to do the setup. And they saw the amount of work that I have to prepare. Um, in fact, they feel a little bit more appreciative now. I think. Yeah. And I have to mention, and I have to mention to them about the time uh, that I have to spend in office. It's, it's not like before whereby I was at home most of mm. the time. Uh, I was a stay home mom for a while, right? Mm. So they they were so used to having me all the time. Mm. So now with work, um, they tend to call me more. <laughs> I give them a spare phone of mine to let them uh, be in touch with me. Mm -hmm. Let's say if I get caught up with work, yeah. So the I would say that they are more sensible now. So it's it's in a way good to let them see that yeah. you know mommy is actually doing something for them. It's actually for their future. I feel yeah yeah yeah. I I um I think that's a tr not a trend like a like a similarity between mom bosses mm -hmm. um that we the better way to do it is um to involve our children in what yes. we do and in a way it helps us uh, well we could never fully get through mom guilt mm, all but the time. yeah <laughs> but if, if our children see what we do then they understand why we need to be away and that's like a bigger purpose yes and um then it just makes things easier yeah. right it, it just makes things um 
yeah, once you have like a sense of purpose for yourself and for your family, and so they're more on board. Yeah, in fact, um, it's it's quite just quoting one example, like my yeah. second daughter Charlene, mm. um, she kind of share my business to her teachers. Yeah. In school and as well as enrichment, I'm yeah. so surprised because she mentioned that oh, you know, um, this teacher is gonna buy uh, imperial stuff. I told them uh, about the brand. I say oh, so what did you share? Oh, I share with them that we are a baby brand and you know where you can get the products. I'm like, okay, that's then good. You got marketing skills are really good sales <laughs> for people yeah, for our brand, is, isn't yeah. it? And you know why they do that? Yeah. They're proud of you. I know. I, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. So, so yes, yes. I, it I makes agree. everything more worth it, isn't yes, it? Yes, exactly. Yeah, so and, whenever the, um I feel like I'm getting drained, I, I will think of my children mm. that push me further to think that, you know, they have seen what I've been doing. Mm. Uh, they are more appreciative than I should go forward and never mm. give up. Mm-hmm. So, if you have your time again, what would you do differently? If you can start this brand again, like, what do you think like was a total waste of money that you wouldn't do again? And what is it that you probably think? Mm. Um, at this point, I would say I'll probably. I don't know, can't, can't think of it. Yeah, can't think of it. <laughs> that's okay, that's fine, that's alright. And, um, you know, I think I think you just mentioned that, you know, when things get tough, mm. knowing that your, your, your children gets your purpose and, and our family is there, we're doing it for our family, mm. that's what keeps you going. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can so, you, yeah. So, would you like to elaborate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to elaborate on that? Like, you um, know, when things um, get tough, what keeps you going is your family. And yeah, okay, let's say, for example, if there's a day at work that gets really rough, mm. uh, I mean, it happens, right? Because uh, it's not smooth all the time when yeah. you get a negative comment or certain feedback from uh, a retailer or customers. It kind of pull you down somehow. I mean, it's human nature to feel that way. Yeah. And moreover, we are women, we get emotional, like I mentioned. Um, so, and all for the amount of effort that you put in, the result you receive is not what you expected. So it's drawn down to the expectation again. Yeah. So probably um, that kind of ruined my day. So I would think that um, heck, no one is perfect. So I yeah. cannot think that you know yeah. I should push, I should set my bar so high. Yeah. So I have to learn to, to, to work with, you know, to, to accept the failures and also move on and push mm-hmm. me even harder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so mm-hmm. that's the part where I feel like, you know, I have to do it for my family because they have faith in me and also mm-hmm. support me. I think my when I first started, my family support was very strong um, from my par- my, my um, maternal side, um, my extended family. Mm-hmm. They all supported me in terms of social media posts. They nice. supported me in terms of buying for their friends or yeah. relatives yeah. who, you know, even friends, they, yeah. they came by to, to support. Yeah. I think word of mouth is very important. Mm-hmm. But another is also the support that you get. Mm-hmm. Um, these are the things that, that actually keeps you going mm-hmm. because they, you know that these are the people who trust and believe in you that you can do it that's mm-hmm. why they are there to lift you up yeah yeah so these are very important yeah so the the, the point is like to to actually just do something to, yeah. to get out there and just do something because you never know how people will receive it yeah, right so exactly. and and the support that we sometimes least expected it will will come Dumb. yeah and then and then you're like Wow, oh, and then and then you realize who are the important people in your life, <laughs> and who are like you know just just talk but not there, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Thanks for sharing that Thank with you. us. Yeah. And um, you know, we talk about accountability group, and um, do, okay. What is your long term plan for the business? Because um, it's only been two years. Really. Yeah, it's, it's been two years. We are still very young. Um, yeah. yeah. In fact, uh, we are intending to move out. Um, uh, I mean, to move into. Um, Southeast Asia as well. Mm-hmm. In fact, currently, um, we just launched our brand, our other subsidiary brand called Wow in Vietnam. Ah. Uh, we are working with a distributor to, to, to promote this brand for us. And because um, we, we, we are actually targeting to, to move to other Southeast Asian ca- uh, countries as well, but we are just doing it baby step. Mm-hmm. We don't want to rush into it because mm-hmm. within my, my scope now, I, mm-hmm. I feel that that is so much that I can do. I yeah. don't want to miss it. Yeah. And I don't want to just launch it and not be there. Yeah. So to me is um I want to be a part of where I want my, my products to be in. Yeah. Yeah. So mm. we're still taking baby steps. Yeah. yeah. And I also know that you are a very hands on mom, yes. although you have this <laughs> business. She like she still sends her kids yes. like everywhere, you know, drop off, pick up, enrichment and things like that. And so how is your typical day like? 
Um, to wake my, up very early in the morning. Yeah, so typical day, I start, I, I'll wake up at 6 a.m., mm. then I'll get my two girls ready, my older one, going to school. I just either walk to school or there are times where it's, um, um, we woke up too late, we'll just drive over, and after which I'll just come back, and then I'll send the three and four. Then that's where I start getting myself ready to go to work. Mm. So my work actually starts the minute I drop off my kids, mm. uh, either through phone, mm. uh, I'll just catch up with the colleagues before I enter into the office. Or once I'm in the office, we'll arrange for meetings. Then um, by one o'clock, I'll be back to school to pick my kids. So coming back home after one, we'll be preparing lunch for them and getting them to do their homework while I catch up with my work again. And four is the time where I get ready for the dinner and also the kids, mm. uh, to pick up the kids. Yeah. So typically, I would say my day starts at 6 and mm. ends at 12. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's 18 hours <laughs> <laughs> of labor. Yes, of labor, which is yeah. totally worth it if yeah. you have a purpose, when yes. you, you know what you're doing, what you're striving for. It's, it's all for my kids and, and yeah. Yeah, the family. I, I think, hope they remember yeah, and appreciate that. Yeah, they remember. You know. <laughs> This is long hours and yeah, okay. That's great. Um, and I think a lot of us women are also having that kind of like long hours. Mm. And, it, and, and, and and yeah, and I think um, thank you for sharing that so that we feel like we are not abnormal, that we're like, why are we, you know, be up? We are not alone um, that being up so long and, and, and sometimes, to be honest, not seeing results. Yeah. I know you, know, you feel like stop day in day out yes. and like nothing to show for, but that it is something. You know, it's 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 your life, right? And and your children only your have yeah your choice, and your children only have this time with you, right? You know, the pick up time is so important. Yeah, like like we mentioned, uh, I think I said this to you when we first met. I said the the days are long, the mm. years are short because yes. you think about it, the days do not. I mean, there's only three hundred sixty five days a year. These are the time when you spend with your kids, but eventually when you look back, you'll be missing the golden ages with them because yeah. you think that you know all this passes by and they will no longer sit on your lap and they will no longer probably hold your hands so tight as they yeah. grow up into yeah. their teens. And that's the part whereby you have to accept that, you know, these are the things that you cannot expect to be the same when you're younger. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So mm. treasure the golden years I think is very important and also uh, making plans for yourself. I think self-love, like I mentioned earlier, mm. is also very important. Um, when you feel that your life is stagnant, it's always good to take a break, take a breather, or maybe take a trip, mm. just to refresh and also rejuvenate uh, your mind, to think mm. uh, what is your next step. Like yeah. for me, um, I will sometimes ask for off day from my husband and say, that, hey, maybe you just look after the kids, yeah. now. Just, just go for a hair wash, yeah. you know, and just go for a walk down the road. Yeah. Like, like, I mean, just go for a, a stroll or go shopping. Mm. You know, like shopping, I need to shop no, to know what are the things that are <laughs> Exactly, market around. research. Yeah, market research, that's what we call. <laughs> so, um, it's good for our soul yes. as well as our mind. That's mm. where you can start um, thinking having generate new ideas yes. for your own products yes. or for your own brand. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes that, that alone time in which we spoke very earlier, important. Yes. Yeah. It's very important for us to yeah, come up with a new idea, go for a walk. Because if you're constantly on and if your mind is constantly being entertained and yeah. there's just no idea that comes through. No breathing space. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you can just leave our audience, our mom bosses yeah. out there, one advice, what would you say? I would say don't be afraid to try. I mean, mm. um, when you have a goal, mm. you know what you're working towards. You will never give up. Thank you. Great. Yeah. And before we end this episode, I want to acknowledge Joanne for overcoming her fears because <laughs> it took me a while to convince her to go come on the show because yes. um, she doesn't like to be videographed. But can you believe it? She did so well. So that's another yeah. example that you should just go after. Um, whatever you want to do without you know the fear holding you back. Thank you very much. Thanks Thank for you. watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.